What's up guys, Jake here. Today I have my buddy Rob, AKA Deer Meat for Dinner on YouTube, and he told me to bring my metal detector to the Bahamas, and where are we going, I guess? Dude, I'm taking you to one of the most epic spots <laughs> of all time. Thousands upon thousands of people come here to the grotto. It's yep. Thunderball Cave. Like, if you've ever watched James Bond 007, well, that's exactly where we're going right now. <laughs> that cave is where we're going, but the current rips through it, and people are like flailing, grabbing. I'm sure they lose iPhones, watches, <laughs> rings. You know, Who knows yeah. what else? Maybe even clothing, but it's gone and it's there for you to find. Yeah, he told me that and I was like, all right, there's no way I'm leaving this at home. So I brought the metal detector and with that said, we're gonna go to this place, drop down with the scuba tanks, metal detector, see if we can find some lost jewelry down there and I'll share that with you guys in today's YouTube video. If you want to see another video here in the Bahamas tomorrow, drop a thumbs up if they support. Rob and I will team back up and see what else we can do out here in the Bahamas. But with that said, let's get on the boat and get to the spot, man. Kevin Doyle actually invited us all out here to come out and have a good time in paradise. He actually owns this resort called the Lazy Bay Cottages, and he also owns the company called Staniel Air, which is a plane, a private plane company who took us here to the Bahamas, and without his help, we wouldn't be here enjoying this lifestyle, so I really do appreciate it, Kevin. And with that said, if you guys want to check out this same exact resort and stay here for yourself, I'm going to have a link in the description below. Check it out. All I ask is if you guys actually come here and have a good time, send me some photos so I can see the adventures you guys go on. But with that said, we're in this beautiful boat. We're about to have a good time. <laughs> you guys, this is Awesome, check this out. Is that safe? No. Right here. Hey Brandon! Hey Tristan! Hey yeah. buddy! <laughs> think that if you just dove right underneath that rock it opened up to a world you never knew existed and it is just so pretty dude but there is a hole at the very top it's like 15 20 25 feet tall we're gonna go up to the top of the mountain here and then jump through the hole and then we're gonna I guess jump into the water but yeah so far I'm having a great time we're gonna jump in and then we'll come back to the boat grab the metal detector and scuba tanks and hop back in there and see if we can find some cool stuff resting at the bottom of that but so far man it's been a great time this reminds me of Hawaii <laughs> this sucks so bad. Yeah, I'm glad I got booties. <laughs> Joe's over here barefoot. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh yeah, that hurts. <laughs> <laughs> Tristan. Oh. Ah. Only five more miles, boys. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, Be dude, careful. look at that water. There's some little holes that you can't fall in. Oh, God. So, watch out. You mean you can, but you don't want to? Correct. <laughs> Joe, you hear that? There's some little holes that you don't want to fall in. Look at this, dude. Ah. <laughs> All right guys, we're on top of the mountain right now. The water is so beautiful. We're about to hop into the cavern for the first time. How high do you think that is? Like 20, 30 feet? Woo, all ready? Here we go.
Hello. I'm doing good. <laughs> yeah, I'm fun. <laughs> yeah, man. Honestly, it was so beautiful under there. It was just like the craziest contrast of colors between like the crazy red orange like cave and then that like bluish. I don't even know what color blue that is. Some type of blue though. This is pretty. <laughs> so uh, I think we're heading to the big beach, right? <clears throat> yeah, dude. Back. Yep. We are headed to the beach with all the pigs that they call pets here in the Bahamas. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Jakers. Oh, we did a couple. Here you go. Here you go. Oh. <laughs> oh my god. Here you go. Little baby. This is the calmest one. I picked up a few and they're freaking out. He's Dude. just hanging out. Last bit of Doritos. Come on. Oh. No. Oh. Ah. oh. What happened, B? Uh, Tristan lost his hat. <laughs> Did he get it back? Nothing happened to me, brother. I'm good. <laughs> All right, so the first ring I found of three is an earring. No way, look at that. It's cute. Yeah. Look at that. Dude, right, you so could put this in your nose. Get that away from me. I did. So I found, uh, before I show you guys my, my best finds, I found some like cash. Like, I don't know. I found some coins. Those are American, but I think I found some non American ones. If I'm correct. This is pretty cool. That one's all encrusted. Yeah, some of them are bad. I'm gonna start off with the first ring I found, and it's a men's ring. Oh. Look at that, dude. That's a wedding band. Yeah. Heck yeah. He's not married no more. <laughs> dude, that's really cool. That's it. That's a men's uh, wedding band, and it's probably been there for quite some time. But here's the best ring of the day, and it's the second ring I found. No. Dude, that's a diamond up in there. <laughs> Holy crap. Does it have initials or a name in there? I don't know. It's just crusty. Hold on, I see. think it says Brandon J right there. I knew, I knew beyond a shadow of a doubt <laughs> there was going to be something in Thunderball Cave. <laughs> what? What? <laughs> what is it? Oh, you want your ring back. Yeah, okay, here you go. You can have this ring. Okay, thanks. <laughs> How I'll cool take what is I that? can get. You know, I'll be honest with you, like this one came pretty quickly. I think it was the second thing I found. I was like, no way. And I just ran over at the that moment where you like at that moment you're like, oh I was crap. excited, dude. Here like second go. find, I found a ring. I was like, Brett, look at this. And he's like, whoa. And then it took me uh, a good little bit, maybe an hour to find this one. And then I thought it was a quarter or something, but I, I waved all the sand away and it just revealed itself. And I actually didn't see anything. It was just a circle outline. And uh, it was all crusted up with like, you know, I guess ocean slime and barnacles or whatever. And I wiped it off because I saw like a circle piece and that's when the diamond got revealed. It's gonna go Bring in my collection. No, I kind of want to keep it like that. Really? Yeah, 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 yeah for awesome. sure, for sure. The Bahamas ring <laughs> in the collection, but that's yeah, we'll so try to figure cool. out who it belongs to though. Definitely got to get the diamond tested. I got a diamond tested. All right, well, let me go, <laughs> let me go, go get test it test this diamond. <laughs> really? Yeah. I don't know 100% if this is real or not. Like if it beeps, it's a real diamond, but if it doesn't, like I don't know. Take this with a grain of salt, but if it beeps a lot, that means we have a real <laughs> diamond. All right, here we go. Y'all ready? Three, two, one. Boom! Oh! <laughs> definitely real. <laughs> yeah, look, if you have that, it on That goes wall, pegs out. Yeah. See. No. Oh yeah. man. Like skin maybe, but like Are you a vampire? I don't know. But that's No, that's, that's a diamond. Good. Yeah. It's supposed to go straight to the red, but yeah, even if it's in the green. Yeah, I think it's a diamond. Well, like I said, take it with a grain of salt, and I'm not hundred percent bulletproof for this, but if we heard a lot of beeps, that means it's a real diamond. I'll be sure to get it really tested. But if that's a real diamond, 100%, I mean, that could be worth a lot of money, but that's really cool. That's, uh, I think the true treasure today is just the experience with everyone and oh, the spot sure. that we went to, you know? It's not the things you find, it's just the experiences you go on. I don't know where he's going right now. <laughs> but seriously, man, uh, it's still really cool to find things like this just because it's so special. And, and uh, to be able to give it back to the people who lost it just means a little bit more, too. And, you know, without Brandon teaming up down there, I probably wouldn't have found this either. But, uh, <laughs> yeah, I mean, what a great experience. All right, here comes deer meat. Oh, this what is the part hey, we love. If deer meat's gonna be involved, there has to be some kind of food. Oh. <laughs> there you go. Is that wow. some of your grouper? Whoa. Oh, that, that... We spearfished this yesterday. In the sauce. Tasting oh, some of that sauce. So amazing. Here, I'll dip it this way. Piece of I'm there. not double dipping. Oh. Oh, dude, that sauce tastes like P.F. Chang. Oh my God, it is P.F. Chang, bro. <laughs> All right. Oh. 
With that said, that's so good. I hope you guys enjoyed today's adventure. If you guys did, make sure you guys leave this video a big thumbs up. Also, don't forget to subscribe if you guys are new. I'm gonna link everyone's YouTube channels in the description box below. Brandon uploaded a video, Tristan did, and Deer Meat did as well. Make sure you guys check out everyone's videos. Tell them Jake sent you. But with that said, I'll see y'all next time. Thank you so much for watching.